All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So let's get straight into this video. I want to talk about how God makes you strong. And this video is going to be targeted to men, but anyone can resonate with it. If you're a woman and you resonate with this video, then this is also for you. <clears throat> but let's get to it. So whenever you're in a season when God is strengthening you, this is going to be like your hardest season in life ever, right? So... Everyone's experience is unique, but this type of season is a season that seems really, really just rough. <clears throat> I'm talking about like, you'll go through loss after loss, whether it's like financial, whether it's just emotional, whether it's everything, you're just going to keep getting jabbed at, right? You're going to get hit by one thing, one loss over here, one over there, another one, another L, another L, another loss, another failure. It's, it's going to feel like you're, you're going to keep getting jabbed at constantly, right? It's like a death by a thousand cuts thing, but you don't die because of it. You get stronger. So whenever you're in this season, this type of season is going to be really, it's going to push you to the brink, right? It's going to bring the warrior out of you. It's going to bring the strength out of you. That's the point of the season, right? It's going to be like you're in a fire and you're going to be like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? Why am I losing this, losing that, going through this? Thinking about this. And then God also places like a, quote unquote, a mirror in front of you, right? So he reveals you to you. So you start to see yourself. You start to see the way that you act. You start to see your traumas. You start to see whatever it is, your arrogance, your sin, your behavior, you start to see everything. Everything starts to convict you. Everything starts to push you, right? It's going to keep, you're going to keep getting pushed, 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 pushed constantly, right? And so this season, this could get really rough and your stress is going to be pretty much to the brink, right? Because this is the season that makes you strong. So since it's making you strong, you're going to be pushed to like your maximum amount that you could be pushed. So this season could get so rough that you could even have like, I don't want to say it, but it's true. Like you have like suicidal thoughts or like you could have a lot of anger coming out, a lot of rage, a lot of just stress. It's like an overload of stress. It's like things keep happening. Nothing's going right. One by one, you keep losing things just L after L after L. But after a while, though, like, you feel like something is carrying you the whole time, right? Like, no matter how rough it is, you still keep getting through it. And you're like, where am I getting this strength from? And the strength comes from God, right? You keep getting through it, you keep getting through it, you keep getting through it. So whenever God makes you strong, he takes away your attachment from everything in the world, right? No longer will people's words affect you. No longer will your external circumstances affect you. No longer will things like money affect you. No, no longer will anything affect your self-esteem because this is going to push you to your brain to where you're going to pretty much say, you know, F it all. You're, gonna just, you're just going to throw it. You're like, you know what? I don't even care, right? It's going to be that type of season to where you're just like, yeah, whatever. I'm done. So this is, this is when you become strong and needing nothing. So we know that the things of the world, the things of the world are temporary, right? So putting your self-esteem in things of the world is just going to destroy you, right? So if you feel good because you have money and then you don't feel good because you don't have money, it's going to affect you. If you feel good because you're in a relationship but you don't feel good because you're not in a relationship, it's going to affect you. And pretty much in everything, right? This season makes you needing nothing besides God. It makes you, it pretty much makes you unbreakable, right? This season is, is supposed to make you unbreakable. That's why it feels like that's why it feels like your life is trying to break you so hard, right? It's trying to break you down and break you down, but you don't break. You only bend, you bend, you bend. You keep bending, you keep bending, but then after you get out of it, you see a strength about you that you've never realized before. You're like, where did this come from? Right? And then you also have a sense of pride about it. Because you're like, oh, I really overcame that. Whatever it is you overcame, you're like, I overcame that. I got through it. Now I'm stronger, right? I'm more confident. So this this pretty much builds, not builds, but this sets you up for the rest of your life, right? This sets you up to be 
ready for the rest of your life. So you're ready for whatever is thrown at you because the season is so rough. You know you could get through it. So whatever comes to you in life, whatever's next, right? You're going to be confident about it. That's what the season is for. That's why it's so rough. It's like you're in the fire. And that's how God makes you truly strong, right? That's how God takes you, quote unquote, from a boy to a man, right? To where at once you were naive, you were gullible, you were emotional. You took things seriously of the world. Things affected you easily. You reacted a lot to a lot of things, right? He takes you from that to where nothing could phase you. That's, that's, where, that's where your strength comes from. So at once you were someone that was phased by things easily. You, were, you reacted to things. You took them seriously. You took them like they were so important, right? You go from that to not being phased by anything. You go from being in the fire and panicking to being in the fire and not even caring, right? <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not saying this to where like you dissociate from your circumstances. Like you're, you've gone through so much suffering to where you dissociate because of it, right? I'm, I'm saying this to where like nothing actually phases you anymore because you've been through it already. So whenever these things happen, you don't have a reaction. It's not affecting how you act. It's not affecting your character. It's not doing anything to you, right? So I know if you're watching this video and you're resonating with this video, you're gonna understand. But speaking in a man's pers perspective, right? So I truly believe that every man almost every single man on earth is going to go through this type of season, right? That kind of takes you from a boy to a man. It's going to be a really rough season. It's going to be something through where your whole character makes a 180, right? You go from being reactive to being non-reactive, being emotional to being more calm, being fearful to being fearless. You're going to, you're going to go through every single opposite, right? from being depressed to being happy, from being every single opposite. So that's what, that's what this is for. And that's why the season is so rough because it, it pretty much takes everything out of you, right? You're gonna be drained, you're gonna be stressed. You're gonna go through every emotion in the book. You're gonna question your faith in God, your faith in your life, your faith in yourself, your faith in just anything. You're gonna question your whole entire life. You're gonna be like, I don't even know what's happening at that point, right? It's going to be like every single thing's coming out of you. All your all your traumas, all your memories, all your reactions, all your behaviors. You're going to see yourself who you, who you really are. You're going to see every single thing. And it's going to be painful, right? But the good thing about it is that these these things come out. So God delivers you from them. They come out so you see them, and then they get out of your body. You know, those emotions get out of your body, whatever it is. And then it's the greatest feeling when you come out of the season, when you come out of it, come out of that fire, and you come out unscathed, and you come out with this sense of power that's you never even realize that you had. You're just like, whoa, I, I went through that, right? I got through that, and I'm good. And I feel a lot stronger. I feel a lot more confident. Things aren't facing me. Whatever I took seriously in the past, I don't take seriously now. Whatever I took, whatever hurt my self-confidence, it doesn't hurt my self-confidence now. So God's going to take every single thing that that hurts you, every single thing that hurt you before, and make it not hurt you anymore. So it's going to it's gonna hit you. It's going to jab at you. It's going to jab at you constantly, right? Jab, jab, jab. It's going to be like a bunch of things just keep hitting you and hitting you and hitting you and hitting you. You're going to take a lot of blows to the face, right? It's like you're in the ring, like you're say you were boxing or something. You keep getting hit. You keep eating the punches, right? But you're not getting knocked out. You keep hitting it. You're a little stunned. I mean, you keep getting hit. You're a little stunned. You get hit again. You're a little stunned, but you're eating it, right? You're not. You're not falling. You're not getting knocked out. You're not perishing, right? You, you keep eating it. You get stronger. You eat it again. You get stronger, right? And that's how it goes. And there's a Bible verse for this as well. So if you go on one Peter chapter. 5 verse 10 said, but may the God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, 
perfect established strength in inside of you. So suffering in your life is going to be guaranteed. This is like a guarantee in life. This is how life works. You, there's always going to be the quote unquote yin and yang. So to get one thing, you're going to see the opposite. So to get happiness, you're going to go through depression. To get peace, you're going to go through anxiety, right? To be calm, you're going to go through things like anger, rage, anxiety as well. You're going to go, you're going to go through every single opposite, right? The yin and yang to get the other side. So this is what's going to happen to you. But the final truth is that you're going to come out stronger about it. So whether you've had the season before, you're in this season or you're not yet, this is how it's going to play out. So you're going to feel like you're burning, like you're going to be in the fire, like you're getting burnt alive pretty much. And you're going to come out better somehow. You're not going to come out weaker. You're not going to come out traumatized. You're not going to come out you're not going to perish pretty much. You're going to come out better and stronger and wiser and pretty much everything in the book, right? But yeah, that's all for this video. And if you guys resonate with this video, I would love to hear your comments about it because we know that this season is rough. This is a rough thing. The season that makes you strong is going to be the roughest season, right? But yeah, comment anything below. And also, if you like the video, you can hit that like button. If you're, not, if you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.